Oh, okay. So, you guys want to know how to vlog when you're alone? Let's go over that in this video. Roll the intro. Okay, so what's going on guys? Chris here from, oh my God. What's going on guys? Chris here from Adam Anson Productions. Today, as you know, I'm gonna teach you guys how to vlog when you're alone. Now, vlogging alone is not easy, but it is the first step in vlogging. And I think it's the step that everyone should take before they start vlogging with other people. For today's vlog, I'm gonna just be cleaning up my room and I'll show you how you can use that as a practice or as a means to practice vlogging alone. God, my room. As you guys can tell, my room is an absolute mess. Look at that. You can even make the bed. And that's exactly where that's exactly where we're gonna start. That's the first thing you should be doing every day. It starts your day off way better if you make your let's make the bed. And that's okay for now. Don't judge my bed. It's pretty simple and basic, okay? Don't, uh, don't be judging it too much. Okay, so next is going to be this bed. Um, let's put you guys in an interesting angle, and that is gonna be part of what makes this important for you guys and what you need to pay attention to are the angles. If you're vlogging alone, you want to make it as interesting as possible. So using angles can help that. So I'm gonna put you guys in my shoes. Yeah, you can stick your camera pretty much anywhere. So uh, let's start cleaning this up. And uh, next, for the rest of the time lapse, I'm gonna change the angle. Put you guys right here. So yes, angles are extremely important when trying to create an interesting vlog when you're alone. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. This needs to stay on the bed and yeah. Now, let's say you're vlogging in public and you're kind of nervous because vlogging in public isn't easy and it's really easy to get embarrassed because people start looking at you like, what are you doing? Even though they kind of already know what you're doing. I wonder if people are like jealous of the fact that you're A, doing something that they're afraid to do and B, you may be making more money than them just recording yourself and talking to it. I mean, I'm not. But, uh, you know, I wonder if that's how they feel. But tip number one, that is gonna be <coughs> to use a pair of these. Sunglasses are amazing when it comes to vlogging in public because people don't know where you're looking. You can just focus on your camera. You actually become more nervous when you look at people looking at you and then it's visible on camera and you don't want that. So yes, sunglasses, highly recommend them. Next thing is a small camera rig. Now, I'm definitely not following that because I have a huge camera setup right here. But if you want to start vlogging, try using a, a small camera like this. Or not, better yet, try using your phone. It'll just look like you're video calling someone. And if you're video calling someone, then uh, no one really cares. So if you're worried about people judging you, vlog on your phone. Also, the quality is great. Get the iPhone 12 or 11 or any of those iPhones and your vlogs are gonna look uh, as good as mine. And the final thing regarding that is just not to care, you know, who really cares what, let me not put this in the wrong spot, causing more mess. You just can't care what other people think because this is just your crap. This is what you wanna do. This is what you're trying to build. So don't look at what other people are thinking of you. Who cares? If you're worried about people judging you while you're vlogging, then this is not for you. Now it's always, always, good thing to have a pet in your vlog. If you're alone, maybe you have a pet and you can play with him because pets are, you know, cute. This is my dog, Nessie. For those of you who don't know him, he's probably the nicest person in the world. He's really calm right now. I don't know why, usually he's more energetic, but uh, yeah, there's a really message for you. Thank God I switched back to C-Log. Actually, the last couple of videos I shot in Canon's neutral color profile. It looks so bad. I was oversaturated and oh, I hope you guys didn't unsubscribe for that. Also, let me get some more light on me. I have my fan in the back, whatever. I did enough cleaning for today. I usually don't even do this much. 
One thing super excited I'm working on and that is creating merch. I <laughs> never thought I'd be in this situation. But yes, I'm creating hoodies and phone cases and maybe some hats and some other accessories with a logo and design that I'm working on right now. And uh, so that will be launching soon. And also if you guys want any of the camera gear or any of the things I use, from now on everything is gonna be linked in the description where, where you can purchase them uh, on Amazon. Full disclosure, they are affiliate links so I get a little kickback from them. So if you wanna support me then uh, get it from there, thanks. And what I was mentioning before, you just wanna practice talking in front of the camera while you're alone, before you go out and start vlogging. Because once, if you're able to get in comfortable, because it's, it's kind of a weird experience that not many people are probably used to, because you're looking at a piece of glass, <laughs> and uh, then people, in, but you're at the same time, you're looking at a bunch of people, whoever's watching this video. So just get comfortable talking to the camera the same way that you talk to anyone else. So yeah, if you guys have an idea, my dog kind of attitude right now. But if you guys want an idea of what it's like to talk to me, then this is basically what it's like, because I talk to the camera the same way I would talk to you if you were right in front of me. I was watching this uh, marketing, uh, social media marketing uh, TED talk of sorts, and the speaker said that you want your audience to feel like they know you. So if you can make your vlogs, your videos as friendly and as warm and as relatable as possible, then you will attract more people, because people want friends online so yeah that's also why i shoot at a wider angle like this it kind of makes you feel like you're right here in front of me i mean sometimes yes i do zoom in if i want you to focus on my face but generally i vlog fully wide at 16 millimeters because it's huge and it kind of makes you feel like you're right in front of me and another thing if you guys haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing to the channel i make videos almost daily now on videography, photography, social media, anything that builds you as a creator. I'm an American and I'm based in Paris, so uh, hey, if you're in Paris watching this, maybe we can meet up, maybe we can do some photo shoots and stuff, so yeah. The bulb to, you know how big this is, like the size of my head, and I have a pretty big head, but the bulb from one of my lights just broke because I think it fell on it, so that kind of sucks. So I'm gonna look for some replacement bulbs. Uh, so I only have one light working right now. Nessie, stop licking yourself. Sounds so weird. Another idea you guys can come up with if you're trying to practice vlogging alone is like this vlogging in your room and showing off something you have, like uh, like my sneaker collection. Let's uh, let's do that right now. I have some old LeBron Soldier 10s customized. Yeah, these are custom. Some Adidas something. These are probably my favorite shoes. These are Wolverine boots, but uh, they're kind of hot right now. Fairies, every American has them. Clocks, nice. Guest boots for fancy events. Gold Kobe's, rest in peace, brother. Orange Hyperdunks, don't really use these much. So let's take flight and right in there. I do this D-Rock, super comfortable, like everyday shoes. Another pair of everyday shoes that probably everyone has. Jordan 11 Lowe's, I love these shoes. Good for runs and filming because they're squishy at the bottom. Those are the Nike Reacts, by the way. Nike Bonafide, if I want people to stare at me in a weird way, I'll wear these because they look really weird. Oh, let me get the lighting over here. And I got uh, Jordan 1's I forgot which model these were, but they're limited edition. Ultra Boosts, Nike PG1s, Air Force One high top, uh, some random running shoes, Tim's, uh, slippers, Curry Force for basketball, Harden Volume 3s for basketball, LeBron Soldier 12s for basketball, and a pair of soccer cleats in case I need them or football cleats, depending uh, where you're from. I think in this whole world of vlogging now, it's become such a comfortable and normal thing. Uh, vlogging alone doesn't feel weird anymore. So, and basically what I want you to get from that is the more you do it, is the more you'll get accustomed to it, which I guess is normal, but yeah, definitely should try. Especially with your phone, because vlogging with your phone literally feels like you're just, I don't know, recording a story for Instagram. That's basically what it is. So yeah. 
try it out. And guys, don't forget, you don't need any fancy gear like I use. All you need is your phone, an internet connection, and an idea, like this video topic. That's an idea. If you're wondering how to make vlogs that will get views, make vlogs on searchable topics, things that people actually look up. Because if you have a small channel just making a vlog, no one's really gonna find that. Unless for some reason YouTube recommends it to everyone. But make a searchable topic vlog like this one, and you'll be on your way. People wanna watch someone who they feel like they know and they can relate to, so do relatable things. You don't have to be doing crazy things to do a vlog. Your life isn't boring because a lot of people are actually living a life like yours, so make something that's relatable. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Chris here from Adamantum Productions. Consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.